Welcome. I know a lot of students are struggling trying to create their first class. So I wanted to come up with a quick video to show a solution to exercise 3.9. Now 3.9, we want to create our own class called product. And we're going to try to simulate the, the Apple shopping cart. And we're going to say that each product has a name and a price. You know, for example, a, a product could be an iPad. Uh, 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi for 495. We'll see that in a second. But I would create an instance of this iPad with new product iPad 499. So I want to create a constructor that takes two arguments. We're also saying that I want some methods. I want to be able to get the name. I can ask any instance, what's the name of your product? Let me get the price. What's the price of the product? 499 in this case. Well, I might want to reduce price. Say I want to reduce the price of the iPad by five dollars. Yeah, right. Apple never reduces the price of their products. But, so once I get done with this class, I want to supply another class, product printer, that's going to test the product class by making two instances of products. And I'll make one for an iPad and one for an iPhone. After I create the instances, I'll ask each instance to print its name, print its price, to reduce its price by five dollars and then to print the price again to verify that it took place. Okay, so let's say I went out to the Apple store today and there's my iPhone that I want to buy and I want to buy an iPad too. Okay, cool. I'll click down on those two items and I want to pick an iPad too. That's white, 16 gigabyte. That's going to cost me $4.99. So my product name is going to be iPad 2, 16 gigabyte with Wi-Fi, white for $4.99. Cool. And I want to buy an iPhone 4S. I'll go white. I'll go 16 gigabyte with Verizon. So my name of the product is going to be iPhone 4S, 16 gigabyte white, Verizon for $1.99. Okay, so those will be the two instances that I want to create. So I want to create a class called product. And everything between the open curly and closed curly here is part of the class. And everything between these curlies can see everything else. First thing each product is going to have is its own instance variables, its own data, its own properties, its own state. In our case, it's going to have its own name and its own price. When I create a instance when I create an iPad I create an iPhone these instances need a constructor to be created so I'm going to create a constructor and I'm going to ask it to take the two arguments that I need to define my product the name and the price and then I'm going to write those three methods we need the one for get name get price and reduce price after I write my product I'm going to want to test it so I'm going to write a class product tester this class is going to have a main method. And the job of the product tester is going to be to go out and create the product class for an iPad instance, an iPhone instance, to then print the name and price of the iPad to make sure that the get name and get price work properly. Call the reduce price to make sure the price is reduced by $5 and show that it was reduced. I'll do the same thing for the iPhone. So let, let's get started. We bring up Eclipse. Let's create a new Java project. Oh, we're going to call it Oh Product. Next, I like the classes folder for all my binary files. Finish. And I'm going to go through this pretty rapidly so we get through it. So I want to create a new. Java class, we're going to call this product. I don't want comments put on it. Finish. So I got my copyright statement at the top. We always want a copyright statement. And this is going to be um, create slash models a product for sale. Now here's my curlies. And this side I want to have two variables. We said we want to have a variable that holds a name. So let's make it a private string name. 
and then I want a variable to hold the price, and I'll make it a double. So these are my two instance variables. Instance variables should always be private. Each instance of the class is going to have its own state, its own properties, its own data, its own instant variables that can uniquely categorize it. I now need a constructor. A constructor is going to have the same name as the class. And I said I want this to take two values initially. One for the name and one for the price. So I'm going to create a constructor that takes two values. And it's going to set the name equal to the name that's passed in and it's going to set the instance variable price to the one that's passed in. We said we wanted three methods. One that's going to return the name. So I got to have a public string get name and that's going to return the name. Okay, so here public because it has a public access for other people to use it is going to return a string and the way I call it is with the the name get name with no arguments inside the body I'm just going to return the instance variable name let me make sure I put my opening braces on their own lines okay we got get name how get price so public again because we want people to be able to access it it's going to return a double because price is of type double get price takes no arguments and I want to return the price the instance variable price value now my last method is going to be a mutator method it's not going to return anything but it's going to reduce the price of the product and I need to pass in the value that I want to reduce the price by that way I can support different type of reductions and when I pass an end, the, the new price is going to be the old price minus the reduction. So this completes my product class. I need to add Javadoc for each public method, each parameter to a public method, and each return type of a public method. But I'll skip that for now so I get done my YouTube video in time. So we're done with product. I'll save that. Now let's create the product tester. So new class product tester. I want it to have a main method. I want it to generate comments. I'll finish that up. There's my copyright again. This is just going to be a, a test class to verify product functionality right so we'll be testing the product in here the first thing I want I'm going to want to do is to create an instance of my iPad so product iPad equals new product and I want mine to be an iPad 2 16 gigabyte with Wi-Fi I guess that's good enough and then it's going to cost $499 so I originally said I had a constructor with two arguments one a string one a double that satisfies that and then when I create another product instance call iPhone this going to be a new product and this was going to be an iPhone 4GS 16 gigabyte from Verizon and that was going to cost me $199 so I've created my two product instances we then said we wanted to print out the name and value of each so system dot out uh, print line oh I want to print out the product name so product then I'll concatenate to that. I'll call my iPad instance and I'll ask to get its name. And then I'm going to print out the price.
So there's my product, there's my price. I then wanted to reduce the price by $5. So I call iPad.ReducePrice and I'll put $5 in there. I then want to verify that the price was actually reduced. So let me copy and paste. The price again. And I'll call it iPad 2 reduced price. Now I could test the same thing for my other product, the iPhone. So I'll just copy all of this code. I'll paste it. And down here I'll just make some easy substitutions for myself. So I want to print out the product for the iPhone and then my iPhone price is going to be iPhone get price I then want to reduce the price of my iPhone by five dollars and then I want to print out the iPhone reduced price so that looks pretty good again I should comment but for the sake of time with YouTube We'll come up to Product Tester, or right click, I'll run as Java application. And let's take a look at the console window. Product iPad, 16G with Wi Fi, printed out as $4.99, reduced price, $5. Here's my iPhone product, should have been a lowercase h there. My price, $1.99. Oh, I made a mistake here. I didn't reduce the price of the iPhone. See how I forgot to call on the iPhone instance it gets price? So it's printing out the other price. So I'll change that to iPhone. And wasn't there something else that I was going to, to fix? Let's see, product, iPhone, get me. Here's my capital H up here. Should have been a lowercase h. Good. So let's rerun it. Run as. Java app. Okay. Come down below. Reduced price 194. All right. That concludes this quick lecture. I wanted to quickly run through an example so you could see it. Replay it as often as you like to get things correct. Remember, we need Java doc. You need to go back and put Java doc in all the appropriate places. So you need to clean up the Java doc here for main. Back on product, we should have Java doc on top of the constructor, on top of get name, on top of get price, and on top of reduce price. Thank you.